tab upgrade videos. Uh, this will be really quick. How much propane do you have left in your tank? Do you don't know? I don't know. Um, so this uh, arrived today in, from Amazon. It's made by Mopika. It's a ultrasonic Bluetooth tank level monitor mounts on the bottom of your tank underneath here sends an ultrasonic signal up to the top of whatever level the propane is bounces back down measures that time and transmits to your phone how much is still left in your tank let's get to it go install it here we are out in front of my 2015 tab max s trailer this is the standard tub did a lot of upgrades to the tub. Um, I hope this is not too washed out. It's bright out here. Replaced the little uh, cheap uh, pins here with some good clevis pins. Um, moved the tanks forward so that uh, and the battery forward so it doesn't hit here anymore. And put in a nice piece of aluminum tubing along the back, which gives me a lot more stable uh, support here. But in any case, um, we're going to put that tank monitor in. Uh, first thing we need to do is remove the tank piece of cake. Un uh, turn it off, unscrew it, take the bolt off, lift it out. Okay, here we are. Tank is out. Um, while we're looking at the tank and about to install this, I want to uh, give you a little bit of a heads up. Uh, many of you know it, many of you may not. If you are um, having the same tank filled rather than swapping it out with one of those blue rhino places, um, swapping it out is expensive. Having it filled is a much cheaper way to get propane, and if you use a lot of propane, that's the way to go. But you need to be aware that your tank says must be requalified within 10 years of manufacture date. My tank was manufactured in 6 of 12. So, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Before next year, I have to have this tank requalified. You can take it down to a propane place. They'll just visually look at it, tell you yeah or no, put a sticker on it, and you're good to go. Otherwise, when you take this to a propane place and you're more than 10 years past the uh, last qualification date, they won't fill it for you. They'll send you away. That's not good. So um, have your tanks uh, requalified every 10 years. But... Let's get at what we're going at. This is our propane um, measurement device. Uh, it comes with instructions. Um, the device itself, um, just like this, um, it's got a couple of magnets. You pull off this, this uh, pink tape. That tape is there to keep this clean. There's a magnet right here, and it goes right on the bottom of the tank. But there's some stuff you need to do. There's a little tube of what's called dielectric grease, and you put a little dab, a little dinky dab of it, right on that middle spot there. That makes sure you're getting good contact with, with the tank. So let's okay. go. Okay, so here's my tank upside down. The sensor mounts right here in the middle of the bottom of the tank. Just get some good cleaner. Spray that guy wipe him down dry it real good okay so here we go this is how this is going to fit you see it's got a magnet it goes like that um really strong magnets stay on there really fine what you need to be aware of though is that you need to make sure you put a straight edge across your tank and check to make sure because these little stands 
they're not all the same height. Sometimes those stands are thinner, and what will happen is you'll put this underneath your tank, and this will hit the the ground when you put it down on there. So put your Mopeka sensor on there, put a straight edge across it, and you can see that mine just clears. So we're good to go. There are spacers in here that will help with that. Um, also, they work uh, in other ways. If I put this down on a metal platform that's completely sealed, those spacers will help the radio, the Bluetooth radio waves come out. Um, otherwise, this all gets sealed up and you can't transmit. So those spacers do two things. One, they'll raise the tank up a little bit. Um, two, they let the radio signal out a little bit more. So um, now that I know mine's a fit, we're gonna peel off that little pink, little pink thing and put a little dab of this grease right between the two magnets. Okay, that's Let's all there it. is to it. It's installed. <laughs> right now this sensor is in what sleep mode. They send it in the factory in sleep mode. That's saving the battery that's in there. It's a little uh, watch battery. You know those things you can replace it but it's in sleep mode. To wake it out of sleep mode you're gonna this green button that's here you're gonna press that 10 times real fast. That'll wake him up. At that point go to your uh, um, app store on your phone, download the Mopeka app, and do a typical Bluetooth sync. So I'm going to go do that. I have it all back together. Good to go. I uh, weighed the tank on a scale and compared it to what the Topeka um, sensor is saying. Sensor says, I'll show you a little snapshot of that. Sensor says I'm at 87%. My math by weighing the tank and subtracting the tear weight that's marked on the tank, which basically the tank's empty weight, it says that I've got um, 86%. So this is within 1% of being accurate. That's way more accurate than those the tank valves or anything. That's great. Um, to be within 1% of accuracy, which you actually have, is a good deal. Anyway, want to make this quick? See you later. See you on the road.